I'm about to do your Aquarius March 2021 love reading and in this reading we're going to take a look at the status of the love connection between you and your romantic person of interest. Aquarius, how is it going? Come on in, have a seat, make yourself comfortable. My name's Alan from UnknownTruthTarot.com. Welcome back to another Aquarius love reading video. If this is your first time here and you have questions that you want answered about your romantic love life or your relationship, then start now by subscribing and clicking the bell icon so you never miss any of the Aquarius love readings I post for you every week. Now let's get on with the Aquarius reading for today because today we're going to take a look at the love connection between you and your romantic person of interest. And to do that, I'm going to start by pulling one card to represent the mutual point of interest between the both of you. Then I'm going to pull three cards for you, Aquarius, three cards for your person. And then I'm going to clarify all of it with the second deck just to make sure we can get down to the bottom of the unknown truth about what's really going on in this love connection of yours. Now keep in mind this is a general reading which means I'm not tapping into your specific energy as an individual person. I'm tapping into the collective energy of the group of Aquarius people that I'm supposed to be getting messages for. And because of that there's no real possible way that this can resonate with literally every single Aquarius person on the planet all at the same time. And it's even possible in general readings for energies to get flip-flopped around backwards from time to time. So you just got to take it as it resonates. Now regardless of how this reading resonates for you, you still might want to check your moon sign, your rising sign, and your Venus sign videos. We got temperance jumping out just because they can give you more insight and more clarity about what's really going on in your particular situation. And you can find the links to those videos in the description box down below. Now enough yakking, let's get on with this reading for you today because these cards are ready to talk. Let's start by getting one card for the mutual point of interest between you and your romantic person of interest here in March 2021. What is the mutual point of interest? Okay, we'll take that one. Now let's get three cards for you, Aquarius. What's going on with Aquarius as it relates to their romantic person of interest and the connection between the two of them here in March 2021? Okay, well... I think there's a lot for you to talk about here in this reading. These cards are trying to get away from me like crazy. Now let's get three cards for your person. What's going on with Aquarius's person as it relates to Aquarius and the connection between the two of them here in March 2021? Let's get one more for Aquarius's person, please. Thank you. Mm-hmm. On the bottom of the deck, the overall energy of this reading is the Five of Wands. Now, fives represent conflict. Wands are about passion and desire. So this is some sort of an internal conflict, some sort of a conflict in the desires between the two of you here. Pulling yourselves in multiple different directions at the same time. Like maybe one of you wants one thing, the other wants the opposite. Maybe this is an internal conflict going on for both of you. Maybe just one of you. Someone is internally conflicted here. Hopefully we're taking charge of that situation. Then we have Aries energy with the Emperor card next. This is a master manifester. This is an energy of taking control, taking charge of the situation, possibly setting some kind of boundaries here. Hopefully taking control of this internal conflict. Now, the Emperor... He knows what he wants. He's, he's not internally conflicted. And more than that, he's got all the tools, all the assets, all the resources. He's got everything he needs to put together a plan to get what he wants and then to execute that plan. Looks like somebody's wanting some balance here, wanting to balance something back out. Internal conflict is not balanced energy. So hopefully this is you guys taking control of that situation here. Now, for the mutual point of interest between the two of you, this is shared energy between both of you. This is one or both of you is acting, thinking, or feeling this way. And the mutual point of interest is the Eight of Swords. This is Gemini energy. This is about being stuck in your head about something. This is not being sure what the safe step to take is. So you're grinding on it on this repeating loop in your mind, thinking about it over and over and over again, because you're not sure what the safe step to take is and you're feeling stuck, trapped, and blocked because of that. So tell me more about this Eight of Swords as the mutual point of interest between Aquarius 
and their romantic person of interest, please. Well, okay, we'll take an extra one, that's fine. All right. On the bottom of the deck, we've got the Ten of Cups, Pisces Energy. This is the happy fairy tale ending card. This is most people's goal in terms of love and relationships here. This is about two people who are emotionally happy, emotionally content, full of their own self-love, coming together into union here to form a happy family where everyone is together, everyone is in love, everyone feels loved. Again, this is like the happy fairy tale ending card. This is most people's goal. Now, to clarify this Eight of Swords, this being stuck in your head, feeling stuck, trapped, and blocked by something, we have the Seven of, of Pentacles, we have the Nine of Cups, we have Justice, and we have the Five of Cups. So we got a lot of cups here right off the bat. That's telling me there's quite a bit of love and emotions involved in this connection between the two of you here. This Seven of Pentacles, this is a period of taking a pause to reflect and take stock of this connection, of this situation that you guys are in. It's about looking at the seeds that you've planted, trying to decide, are these seeds going to grow into the Ten of Pentacles that you both want? Is this worth investing in? Is this worth continuing to invest in? Or is this a spot where maybe it's not going to pan out the way that you guys want it to, and somebody's considering cutting their losses and moving on? This is just that period of pausing to reflect on those types of things. Next we have the Nine of Cups. Now this is a card of wish fulfillment. This is also the card that comes right before this Ten of Cups. I'll get to that in a second. This can represent like a singles type energy. This is about someone who is emotionally happy, emotionally content, in and of themselves. They're full of their own self-love don't need anyone else in order to be happy, to, in order to feel loved. They get their sense of happiness from inside themselves, not from something external. They get them, their sense of being loved from inside themselves, not from something or someone external. Now, like I said, most people view this as the goal, when in reality, this should be the goal. Unless you both are in this state where you're happy and content by yourself, where you enjoy your own company, where you love yourself, if you're both in this state and you come together, that's when the cups start to overflow. That's how you fill up that tenth cup. The only way to get here is for both of you to start here in this nine of cups state. If one of you's in the nine and one of you's in the seven of cups or the eight of cups, the only way to get to the nine in that case is to siphon love and emotions off of the other person. And sure, that fills their cups up, but it empties yours in the process, so you'll never actually make it to the 10. That's how you get some up and down type of a roller coaster type of a relationship where it never really goes all the way to this 10 of cups state. <clears throat> Excuse me, we've got the 10 of cups here on the bottom. We've got you both in the shared energy being in this nine of cups state. So that's a good thing. The part that's not quite so good is this devil energy here right under this 10 of cups. This is Capricorn energy. This is a heavy toxic energy. This is obsession. This is addiction. This is a feeling of being trapped by something, feeling like you can't escape. We've got this grinding something on this repeating loop in your minds over and over and over again, not sure what the safe step to take is. This is like a mental prison, a self-imposed mental prison of your own thoughts. This is like obsession, heavy type energy. So these two together, this is like obsessive thinking about something. Obsessively thinking about something, obsessively worrying about something related to this powerful connection here. Related to being together and in love and having this happy ending. There's some thinking about, is this going to pan out or not? Is this going to bring me my wish fulfillment or not? Hmm. Right under that, though, we've got the Three of Cups. This is reconciliation energy. This is being reunited and celebrating. If you guys have never been together before and you're not reuniting, this would just symbolize uniting to begin with, coming together in celebration. And we have an Ace of Cups right under that, a new beginning in love and emotions. Some sort of heavy, toxic energy in the middle of all of this, though. I'm feeling obsession. I'm feeling obsessive thinking. 
possibly about planning for the future. This page of coins is news and messages of some practical, tangible opportunity. We're planning for the future. Possibly planning what it is that you're manifesting in. Yeah, magician, master manifester, all the tools, abilities, resources to manifest or create from nothing whatever his will desires. So this is about you guys actively manifesting something, planning for the future, probably trying to have a new beginning in love and emotions here that you hope can get you to this 10. We've got the Ten of, of Pentacles next. And maximum stability, maximum abundance, maximum prosperity. I said this is that period of looking at this and deciding is this going to grow into the Ten of Pentacles that you both actually want. Well, here's that Ten of Pentacles. Here's the Ten of Cups. This is most people's goal in life. The physical reality, the emotional love reality of it all. This is like the pinnacle of both of those things. Worrying about it though, grinding on it, not sure what to do. Then we've got justice. This is a Libra energy. This is a card of balance. This is about doing the right thing, the fair thing, the just thing. The sword in this card is used to sever things that aren't in balance. So balance can be restored and the right, fair, just thing can happen. Well, if you're grinding on something and you can't get it out of your head and you're feeling stuck, that's not balance. If you're having to like take stock of this connection and decide is this even worth investing in anymore or not that's not balance this devil energy damn sure ain't balanced so we've got something out of balance here something that needs to be made right and brought back into balance here so that it looks like we can have this coming together between the two of you into a new beginning in love and emotions if you guys are reuniting then this is starting over from square one. If this is you guys just coming together for the first time, just uniting to begin with, this is that new beginning here. <clears throat> now the final card we have to clarify this Eight of Swords is the Five of Cups. This is sadness and remorse about the past. It's about being focused on these three cups that have been spilled out. All the love, the emotions that have been spilled out. These three cups right here. All the time, effort, and energy that's been spilled out and wasted. And at the same time, not noticing the two full upright cups behind you. So this is about having your focus in the wrong spot. If you're focused on the past, you're going to feel what you felt in the past. If you're focused on what you don't have anymore, you're going to feel that loss. You're going to feel that gap in your life. So this is about making sure that you control your focus. You're stuck in your head thinking about things like uncontrollably almost like obsessively thinking about something here and this is telling me that you guys both need to control your focus stop focusing on the past focus on the right now again we've got an internal conflict as the overall energy of the reading internally conflicted potentially about what to do here in this connection do i do i stay do i cut my losses Trying to balance something out, thinking about that over and over and over again. Both of you are. Now, for your energy in this connection for March 2021, Aquarius, you have the Three of Wands. You have the Knight of Coins. And you have the Seven of Coins. Now, this Three of Wands is Aries energy. This is about being at the beginning stages of manifesting something. We already saw the Magician master manifester we already saw this emperor energy here master manifester we've got a lot of manifesting going on the question is are you manifesting the right things here now this is about already having chosen the path that you believe leads you to the world you want you're already taking steps down that path you're taking actions to manifest what it is that you want it just hasn't materialized into the physical 3D reality yet. It still hasn't shown up yet. You're still waiting on it. But you have this positive expectancy that something good is going to come out of this. Tell me more about this Three of Wands for Aquarius, please. Why is this Three of Wands here for Aquarius? Okay. On the bottom of the deck, we have the Fool. Now, this is card zero of the Major Arcana. This is the very beginning of the Tarot deck. This, this zero represents absolutely nothing 
and the potential for everything all at the same time. So this is a new beginning in something. This is about taking that leap of faith. It's about not needing to know what all the steps are from beginning to end before you take that first step. It's about not needing to know exactly what the outcome is going to be before you take that first step. It's about just going for it, about having that blind faith, being willing to just jump off the cliff and figure out how to grow your wings on the way down. Then we've got the hanged man right underneath that. This is Pisces energy. This is progress being halted. No forward movement. Things being stagnant right now. This is like the hanged man is hanging upside down because he's looking at things from different perspectives than he normally would. Different points of view, different angles. And he's doing that trying to gain enlightenment on something. He's trying to figure out what to do moving forward from here. Trying to figure out, do I take this leap or not? Probably internally conflicted about whether you take the leap or not. Stuck thinking about it constantly. Can't really decide, do I take the leap here? Do I cut my losses and move on? Yeah, the Five of Pentacles is next. Card of Detachment. Or, yeah, it's, it's more like abandonment, really. This is about, like, being cast aside, being left out in the cold, or feeling like you're not good enough. This is usually a breakup card here. Oh, okay, we have an Eight of Swords next, which is the mutual point of interest between the two of you. Again, shared energy here. Being stuck in your head about something, grinding it on this repeating loop in your mind. Not sure what the safe step to take is here. Not sure if you can jump off this cliff and figure out how to work this on your way. Not sure if you're going to be left out in the cold. Possibly there was a someone being left out in the cold, someone being cast aside in the past. Possibly you're feeling like you're not good enough and that's what you're grinding on and worrying about. It could, this could, we have justice out here, like balancing something back out, doing the right, fair, just thing. This could be telling me that in the past, something unjust happened. It could have been someone getting left out in the cold. And that's why you're both stuck in your head right now. That's why there's sadness and remorse about the past. It could definitely be that. Looks like things are turning around, though. We've got death underneath that. Scorpio energy. This is like a transformation to something. Now to clarify this Three of Wands, we have the Two of Pentacles, the Eight of Wands, and the Page of Cups. Now this Two of Pentacles, this is a card of balance, but it's, it's different than this Libra energy. This is more about trying to regain your balance or trying to maintain your balance. It's like a one foot in, one foot out kind of an energy, which we see with, here I want to take the leap of faith, but eh, breaks are on, progress is halted, this isn't happening because there was some abandonment in the past, someone being left out in the cold in the past, and it's got you stuck in your head about it. So you're, you're going back and forth about this, you're internally conflicted about this, you're weighing your options, you're looking at the pros and the cons, trying to make some sort of a decision here, and you're just not sure what to do. You're still waiting, either waiting on something to pan out, or you're waiting trying to figure this out waiting on making a decision about taking the leap which could be why progress is halted and there's no forward movement because you're just you're just chilling out waiting right now next we have the eight of wands sagittarius energy this is the second fastest energy in the deck this is about rapid back and forth passionate communication this is about rapid forward movement rapid forward progress on something that you've got a lot of passion and desire for so it's like you're internally conflicted and going back and forth. Part of you wants to wait on this. Part of you wants to move forward quickly. And I don't think you're quite sure which direction to go in here. You're still contemplating it. The final card we have to clarify that Three of Wands is the Page of Cups. Now, pages are messengers. Cups are about love and emotions. So this is news and messages of love and emotions. This can represent an apology. This can represent expressing of feelings, expressing of emotions. It, it could be that you're having this back and forth, I'm not quite sure what to do, and you're communicating with your person about how you feel on this. And it could also just be that you part of you wants to go for it, and part of you is like, nah, hang on a minute, because this next card we have in your energy, Aquarius, is the Knight of Coins. Slowest moving knight in the deck. 
It's a slow, methodical energy. It's like a one foot in front of the other type of an energy, not being in any big hurry whatsoever. We've already seen the fool and the hanged man here. Progress, like wanting to take the leap, but progress being halted. You're waiting. You're still mm, him hawing around about it. Slowest moving energy here. Not being in a big hurry here. Tell me more about this Knight of Coins for Aquarius, please. Why is the Knight of Coins here for Aquarius? March 2021. Let's get one more on this Knight of Coins. Okay, we'll take two more. That's fine. I don't know which one came first. I'm not quite sure it matters. Bottom of the deck. Five of Pentacles. Hmm. abandonment being cast aside being left out in the cold or feeling like you're not good enough and you're stuck in your head about it feeling stuck trapped and blocked grinding on it because you're not sure what to do here you want to take that leap of faith there's the fool again and there's the pisces hanged man card again but progress is halted and it looks like there is some sort of a game changer getting ready to take place here. This tower moment is a very abrupt shift here. A very abrupt change. This is sometimes where everything comes apart and comes crashing down. Sometimes this is like a big foundation rocking event. It's not always a bad thing though. This is a card, this is card, let's see, 16 of the Major Arcana. In numerology, you would take the one and the 6 and 16 and add them together to get 7. <clears throat> That's the number of the divine. So the question most people ask when they have a tower moment is, why is this happening to me? It's not really happening to you, it's happening for you. So this is the universe removing something from your life that's not supposed to be there. Or this is just some foundation rocking event, some game-changing event where after this, your life's not going to be the same anymore. And it could be bad, could be good. It doesn't look bad, honestly. Because to clarify this Knight of Coins, we have the Ace of Cups, we have the Page of Wands, the King of Swords, and we have the Knight of Cups. Now, this Ace of Cups is a new beginning in love and emotions. That could very well cause a tower moment. Things aren't the same in your life anymore once you start a new relationship, especially if it's a good one. Even if it's a bad one, things usually aren't the same anymore. But we have slow forward movement, not being in any hurry about starting this new beginning in love and emotions. I believe you've got some emotions there that you want to express, you're just waiting to do it. You're internally conflicted about whether you can express that or not. Next here we have the Page of Wands. This is a messenger again. So this is news and messages of passion and desire. This can also represent, this is like the minor arcana version of the Fool card here that we keep seeing show up. This is more about taking the very first steps down a brand new path towards something you've got a lot of passion and desire for. We already saw this Three of Wands in your energy where you've already started down this new path and you have this expectancy that something good's going to come out of it. It just hasn't quite happened yet. This is you taking the first steps down a new path, probably towards a new beginning in love and emotions. And we've got the King of Swords next. This is Gemini energy. Sometimes this is Aquarius energy. It's a general reading, so take it as it resonates. But this is a decision-making energy here. This is someone who's very smart, very analytical, very logical. Also someone who's very fair. However, they're emotionally detached. They don't consult their emotions when they make their decisions. They're not interested in the emotions behind what's going on. They're not interested in the story behind what's going on. They're only interested in the truth and the facts of the matter. And they're going to use the truth and the facts of the matter to make the best, most logical, most rational decision for everyone involved. So this is a, an energy of making a decision and trying to not be emotionally involved in the decision. It's just being like detached. Possibly because there was a someone being left out in the cold in the past. I'm getting the feeling it was you. 
Either that or you've had to walk away from your person at some point in the past and you're conflicted about what to do here. You're still stuck in your head about it. The final card to clarify that Knight of Coins for you is the Knight of Cups. Knights are action takers. Cups are about love and emotions. So this is actions toward love and emotions. This is about you making a love offer to your person or a love offer coming into you. One of the two. It's definitely about love. We've got the Ace of Cups, a new beginning. He's carrying that Ace of Cups here, making some sort of a love offer. There's definitely some actions of love and emotions that look like they're slow and happening. You're not in a big hurry about it. This could be telling me, this Knight of Coins could be telling me that this isn't happening quickly enough for you. You could be internally conflicted because you're tired of waiting on all this. You're feeling like you've been left out in the cold. I, I don't really know. It, general reading, you got to take it as it resonates. Now, the final card in your energy for March 2021, Aquarius, is the Seven of Coins. This is, let's see, Taurus energy. Again, we've already seen this Seven of Pentacles, Seven of Coins in the mutual shared energy between the both of you. This is that period of taking a pause to reflect and take stock of this relationship, of this connection, of this situation, looking at the seeds that have been planted, trying to decide, is this going to turn into the Ten of Pentacles that you really want? Is this worth investing in? Is this worth continuing to invest in? Or is this a spot where maybe you need to cut your losses and move on because it's not going to pan out? Tell me more about this Seven of Coins for Aquarius, please. Why is the Seven of Coins here for Aquarius in March 2021? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Time out, buddy. Time out. Jeez. Lordy, lordy. Normally I get three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I just got seven cards to clarify that seven of coins. So we've got seven, seven cards, seven of coins out here already. We got seven, seven, seven showing up. We saw the tower. If you add one plus six together, that gives you seven. I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself here. Very first card out here for your person is also the tower. And on the bottom of the deck is also the tower. So yeah, seven is somehow important here. Hmm, foundation rocking event. Things are not going to be the same after this period of contemplation. Things are going to drastically change after you take time to contemplate this. And I'm seeing that again out here. We've got you moving forward into calmer waters with this Six of Swords, Aquarius energy. This is about leaving the rough, choppy waters of the past behind you and moving forward into calm, clear waters where you're going to have clarity, where you're going to be moving forward toward what it is you actually want. Now, the woman and the child and all the swords stuck in this boat represent that, yes, even though you're moving forward and you're leaving the past behind you, you're moving forward still carrying some burdens of the past along with you. I've got some sadness and remorse about the past. I've got you being stuck in your head more than one time. Got you having an internal conflict here. Now to clarify this seven of coins, we have the four of wands. We have the moon. We have the hanged man. We have the Chariot, that's three majors in a row. We have the Three of Pentacles, the Queen of Swords, and we have Death. Definitely a big change about to happen. Some sort of a change. You're taking a pause to reflect on all of this. Is this going to turn into the Ten of Pentacles that I want? And we've got this Four of Wands. Fours are about stability. This is stability of your home life stability of your family life, stability of the connection between the two of you. These four wands represent 1111, which is the number of manifestations. Sometimes it's the number for like soulmate, twin flame type connections too. This is a card of like celebration though. This is about celebrating 
having actually manifested something and it finally appearing in the physical 3D reality. We've got you being at the beginning stages of that with this three of wands. Now we've progressed up to the four of wands where it's actually showing up. That could be the game changer that we're seeing. Have the moon next. This is Pisces energy. This is fears, worries, anxieties about something. This is even a, sometimes something being hidden in the dark, like something that you don't know about, something you can't see, some sort of a secret being kept. This could just be fears and worries and anxieties. We've got you being stuck in your head here. We've got twice now you're taking time to contemplate this connection. You're internally conflicted about this. You're internally conflicted about what it is that you actually want and whether that can be balanced out. We've got the Six of Cups here, thinking about the past. Something happened in the past, and that's why you're having trouble moving forward with this. You've got sadness and remorse about the past. You're still mm, juggling this, still stuck in your head. You're worried about something. And that's got progress halted. More Pisces energy here with the Hanged Man. No forward movement. Things being stagnant right now. This is looking at things from all these different perspectives and points of view, trying to figure out what to do moving forward. Then it's starting to look okay now because we've got the chariot. This is the fastest moving energy in the deck. So we're moving from this very slow, methodical, almost not even really moving very much type of an energy and, and being completely no progress happening to now straight into the fastest moving energy in the deck. So this is like using the will to move forward in success and victory. It's about using the will to move past all the problems and challenges and obstacles from the past, moving past it all very quickly into success and victory. Looks like what you're moving forward towards is this three of pentacles, teamwork, collaboration, working together is equals to build something of value, to build something great. We've seen you taking stock, is this gonna turn into the 10 of pentacles that I want? Well, that's exactly what you would be working together to build in this card, working together to build the 10 of pentacles, something very stable and abundant. We have the queen of swords next, Libra energy. This is she who knows the truth. Now, the queen of swords, she'll hold her hand out, she'll offer to let you speak your truth. The problem is she already knows the truth, so the truth you speak to her, it damn well better match the truth she already knows, or she's going to use that sword to cut you. So this is an energy of speaking the truth about something. It's an energy of cutting off the things and the people that no longer serve you. Now this could be what you're using to cut yourself down out of this tree where progress is halted, where you're just stuck. You could be cutting yourself loose on that. You could also be cutting off this connection. I guess another meaning for this chariot card is like, let's get the hell out of Dodge. It's like, let's just roll out as quickly as possible. But that doesn't really make sense because the next card is this three of coins, this three of pentacles. Moving forward quickly towards teamwork and collaboration. That's what I'm feeling. Something is getting cut off. Something that, like, like I said, something needed balanced out. That sword needed used to sever something that wasn't in balance so balance could be restored. I feel like that's what this energy is. We've also got the king and queen of swords out here now. So we've got counterpart energy out here. Sometimes for me, this represents two people who used to be together. I don't it's possible that you guys used to be together. There was some breakup that happened. We did see that Five of Pentacles being cast aside, left out in the cold, sadness and remorse about that. It's possible that you guys used to be together. Whatever is in the way is, is being severed here. Definitely something is changing. We've got the tower on the bottom of the deck. There's this moving forward into calmer waters damn there's that shit that five of pentacles again cast aside left out in the cold very next card down pisces energy again with this eight of cups detachment emotional detachment physical detachment physically walking away going down a new path down a new path going off in search of your ninth and tenth cup well here's the ninth cup 
pretty sure we saw the Ten of Cups on the very bottom of the deck at the beginning. We have the ending of one cycle, the beginning of a beautiful new cycle starting. But we've got death here, Scorpio energy. This is a massive transformation taking place. We've got an, something coming apart, something changing very abruptly. Massive transformation. Now, this isn't always a pleasant thing. It's not always a bad thing either. This is just something coming to an end, something dying so that it can be reborn. That's your energy, Aquarius. Let's take a look at your person here in March 2021. Your person's energy is the Tower, the Queen of Swords, and the Eight of Coins. So we've already seen the Tower here a couple of times. It's in their energy very first card. We just got done talking about the Queen of Swords being in your energy. The Queen of Swords out here for your person. Again, the Tower, abrupt change, foundation rocking event, game changer. Nothing's going to be the same after this. Tell me more about this tower for Aquarius' this person, please. Why is this tower here for Aquarius' this person here in March 2021? Got one flip in the deck. There we go. Let's get one more on this tower, please. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> Bottom of the deck is the tower. You just can't make this up. Anytime I'm clarifying a card. Oh, hey, this one's important. It jumped out again. Anytime I'm clarifying a card and I get the same damn card to clarify it, this is the universe going, dude, look, I done told you it's a tower moment. Something is abruptly changing. This is not going to be the same after this. Because you guys are going to be moving forward in success and victory here. This is a card of recognition. This is Leo energy. This is about recognizing something. Your person recognizing something either about themselves or about you or about this connection in general that allows them to move forward in success and victory. Something's changing really quick here. Yep, very next card, Aquarius energy, another six. Moving forward into calmer waters, leaving the rough, choppy past behind, moving forward where there's clarity, where they're moving forward toward what it is they actually want. And we've got, then we've got that Five of Pentacles and the Eight of Cups again. Abandonment, detachment. I feel like something bad happened between you guys in the past, and that cycle is coming to an end, and a new cycle is about to begin. And whatever that is, it's going to be a game changer here. Now, to clarify this tower for your person, we got the Hierophant, we got the Emperor, and we got the Fool. So we're clarifying a Major Arcana card with this tower. I've got a Major Arcana tower on the bottom of the deck, and the clarifiers are all three Major Arcana cards. This is very significant energy, very powerful energy. Like As humans, we have a lot more control to exercise our free will over these minor arcana cards like this eight of swords or you know this seven of pentacles or this five of cups we can exercise our free will and do something about that when it comes to these major arcana cards this is more like divine energy this is this is a lot more powerful stuff that we don't necessarily have as much control over this hierophant energy is taurus energy this is a card of commitment this is about taking things to the next level from wherever they are. So that's going to be some sort of a game changer. Your person is recognizing something that allows them to move forward in success and victory, lets them end this cycle of being cast aside, of abandonment, of detachment, and move forward into some sort of more of a connection here. We have the Emperor next, Aries energy. In the overall energy of the reading, We've got this emperor energy right underneath this five of wands, this internal conflict. So this is an energy of taking control of the situation, knowing what they want, putting together a plan to get what they want, and then executing that plan. What they want is a commitment with you. They're wanting to take this to the next level. They're wanting to take this leap of faith with the full card, card zero of the major arcana. This represents absolutely nothing and the potential for everything all at the same time. It's about taking that leap of faith. It's about 
not needing to know what the steps are from beginning to end before they take the first step. Not needing to know what the outcome's going to be before they take that first step. It's just having that blind faith to go for it, to take that leap off the cliff and figure out how to grow their wings on their way down. Figure out how to work this as we go along. The next card in your person's energy is the Libra card with this Queen of Swords. Again, she who knows the truth. Speaking the truth, cutting off the things and the people that no longer serve them. Tell me more about this Queen of Swords, please. Why is this Queen of Swords here for Aquarius' romantic person of interest in March 2021? One in there. Let's get one more on this. Okay, we'll take two. No arguments out of me. On the bottom of the deck, Six of Wands, more Libra, Leo energy recognition of recognizing something either about themselves about you about this connection that allows them to move forward in success and victory six of swords again aquarius energy leaving the rough choppy past behind moving forward into calmer waters same story five of pentacles oh oh okay every time i've seen this so far the next card has been the eight of cups you know, being cast aside, being left out in the cold. Then we have this detachment walking away. Not anymore. Now we have a new opportunity presenting itself. The Ace of Pentacles. This is a practical, tangible opportunity presenting itself. An opportunity with the potential for a lot of stability, a lot of abundance. This is the seed that has that potential to grow into the Ten of Pentacles. We've already seen this Seven of Pentacles in the shared energy. We've seen it in your energy. Is this going to turn into the Ten of Pentacles I want? Well, it has the potential to, that's for sure. But that's the thing about these aces. They're potential. You still have to grab them. You still have to do something with them. Otherwise, they represent empty potential. Person's at a crossroad, a fork in the road, a decision point. This is Aries energy. This is a decision about which path leads them to the world that they want and which path do they need to leave behind. Which path am I going to cut off? looks like what they're cutting off is this abandonment, this being cast aside. They're recognizing something that lets them cut that off and have this new opportunity. To clarify that Queen of Swords, we have the Four of Cups. We have the Seven of Wands. The Page of Swords. And the Wheel of Fortune. So this Four of Cups is Cancer Energy. This is like either being emotionally discontent, like not really being happy with what they have so much that they're thinking about this other thing that could bring them more emotional happiness, more contentment. Or this is about your person, like either there's already a love offer on the table between the two of you and it hasn't been accepted or rejected yet. Or this is your person thinking about making a love offer to you and just hasn't actually done it yet. I feel like there's already a love offer on the table. We've got you thinking about it. Like, thinking about it. We've got you waiting to make a decision. You're like juggling things here. There's communication happening for sure with both of these cards. News and messages of love and emotions. Expressing the feelings. We've got an Ace of Cups out here. A new beginning. We've got a Knight of Cups out here. Some romantic gesture being made some actions toward love and emotions taking place you trying to decide is this worth investing in or not is this going to bring me the stability that i want is this connection stable being conflicted about that having fears about it progress being halted and then things changing after that i feel like your person has probably already made a love offer to you and they're waiting on you to accept it still, or you're waiting to decide whether you can accept it or not, something is being cut off regarding that. Either, either they haven't made the love offer yet, and they're cutting off whatever's in the way that's stopping them, or there's some big change happening. I see commitment here. I see going after what they want. I see taking the leap of faith. Yes, your person's probably somewhat internally conflicted here too. 
But then we've got Leo energy here. We've got the Six of Wands on the bottom. Now we're making progress to the Seven of Wands. More Leo energy. This is about defending their position on something. Defending their stance on something. Probably on this love offer. They're speaking their truth about it. And they're willing to fight for what it is that they want. We've got more speaking the truth here. We've got news and messages with this page of swords. We've got communication happening where they're talking about what it is that they want. They're, they're communicating this love offer to you. Speaking their truth about that. Then we have the Wheel of Fortune. This represents the four fixed signs of the Zodiac. Leo, Taurus, Aquarius, and Scorpio. This is divine timing. This is the wheel of fate, the wheel of destiny. So this can be some fated event. This can be the universe or the divine or God or however you want to look at that. Turning this wheel in the background, trying to make sure things line up the way they're supposed to so that what's supposed to happen actually does happen. And it looks like it does. I've got two cards here of moving forward. Moving forward in success and victory. Hmm. I've got the justice card out here, the right, fair, just thing happening. What's supposed to happen is going to happen. Probably not jackbo shit you can do about it either. And now we have this eight of coins in your person's energy. This is Virgo energy. This is an energy of work, like putting in the work on something, putting in the time, the effort, the energy on something. We saw that ace of coins, that opportunity. Like I said, it's got the potential to get to the 10, but it's not the 10. It's going to take work. It's going to take time, effort, and energy. Well, here's that time, effort, and energy, and work showing up in your person's energy. Tell me more about this Eight of Coins for Aquarius' person, please. Why is this Eight of Coins here? Let's get one more on this Eight of Coins. Okay. Oh, okay. 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 I said one. Look. Jeez. Okay, it was this one first. Thank you. All right, cool. Bottom of the deck. Can't make this up. More Leo energy with this Six of Wands again. Recognizing something that allows them to move forward in success and victory. Toward this love connection. This Two of Cups. This is a love connection between two people. This is I breathe you in. You breathe me in. We're connected, but it's a two. And in tarot, twos represent needing to make some sort of a choice in this love connection. There's an opportunity here. Definitely an opportunity here. A new opportunity for this love connection. Eight of coins, or eight of pentacles. Same, same thing here. Just different decks call it something different. That's the card we're clarifying right now. Definitely an opportunity if you're both willing to put the work in on this. Your person does not want to let go of you. They don't want to lose you. This is holding on tightly to something, not wanting to let go of it. Now, to clarify this Eight of Coins, we have Judgment. We have the Queen of Pentacles. Two of Wands. Eight of Swords. And the Empress. Now, judgment. This is either casting their own final verdict and judgment on something, as in making some sort of a final decision on something, regarding putting in the work, regarding making this forward movement, this moving forward in success and victory in this love connection and this opportunity for this love connection. Or this is a card of second chances. This is resurrection. This is bringing something back from the grave bringing something back to life, transforming it in a way that it's not going to be the same again. Now, we have the Queen of Swords in your energy, and then death. Transformation. We've got the Queen of Swords in your person's energy, and now we have bringing something back from the dead, transforming it so that it's not ever going to be the same again. We've seen that tower moment already out here in your person's energy. We've seen the tower on the bottom of the deck. Massive change taking place. This is either, this seems like reconciliation energy. Like this connection is being brought back to life. There is some decision being made about putting in the work on this connection. We have the Queen of Pentacles next. 
This is a very grounded, stable, abundant, prosperous, and nurturing energy. This is someone who's good at managing the home, the family, the assets and resources of the home and the family. This is about stability. We've got this Four of Wands out here already. Stability of the home life. Stability of the family life. We've seen the Ten of Cups at some point. We've got the Nine of Cups out here. There's a lot of stability here. This is also Capricorn energy. Next, to clarify that Eight of Coins, we have the Two of Wands. Aries energy again. Seen the Emperor a couple times. Seen this Three of Wands, Aries energy. Got, we've already seen the Two of Wands. Fork in the road. Crossroads. Decision point. This is some decision being made for certain here. Decision about which path leads them to the world that they want and which path is getting left behind. It looks like the path that's getting left behind is this overall or this mutual point of interest between the both of you. Your person's getting out of being stuck in their head. They're not going to be grinding on this anymore. They're not feeling stuck, trapped, and blocked anymore. They know which path leads them to the world they want. And it looks like they're making the decision to put in the work and the effort to go down that path toward the stability that they want, toward this connection that they want. Moving forward in success and victory towards this love connection. Putting in the work on that. We have the Empress next. This is either Taurus or sometimes Libra energy. Again, balanced, stable, abundant nurturing energy creative energy this is the mother of the tarot deck this represents all four queens rolled into one person now the the empress is like the gateway between the divine or the universe and the physical 3d reality that we live in so all new things that get manifested get birthed through the empress so she represents the birth of something new so there's definitely a big change happening here. Your person's putting in the work. They're making a decision. They're trying to reconcile this. They've chosen their path. They're not stuck in their head anymore. They're birthing something new with you. Now, if you still have questions that you want answered about this situation or your relationship, click on any of the videos that just appeared on your screen right now. And when you do, you'll be taken to more Aquarius love readings that can give you more insight and more clarity about what's really going on in your particular situation, and I'll see you in the next video.